Daddy, it's weekend time. Let's go out for a movie. Oh no, Rachel. Haven't you heard of the coronavirus outbreak? It's not safe to visit public places. The situation is scary. Who is knocking at this time? Hello. I am Dr. Strange and I mostly appear in strange situations. Heard a girl wanting to go for a movie and a man scaring her about the coronavirus. So, I thought this was the best place I should be in. Well, the girl is me and the man is my dad. Who is there, Rachel? It's some Mr. Strange, Dad. It's Doctor, Doctor Strange. Okay, whatever. I am sure you have heard about the coronavirus. What is a virus? Oh, you can just type Make Me Genius plus germs in Google and watch the video to understand more about germs and viruses. Yeah, that's what the world is talking about. Dad says it's scary. Well, it appears to be scary for two reasons. It is a new virus, so we do not know much about it. And secondly, because of the panic messages that are spreading faster than the virus itself. But where did it come from? What exactly is this virus? And Corona? That sounds like a royal name. Well, it appears that the novel coronavirus or COVID, as it is called, started in Wuhan, China and has been spreading across the globe now. Coronavirus is a family of viruses that have the appearance of a crown when examined under the microscope. But how does it spread? What are the symptoms? An infected person can spread the infection to a healthy person while coughing or sneezing through the droplets falling on others or on the objects around. And when others touch such objects or surfaces, they become carriers of infection without even knowing. The symptoms are fever, cough and shortness of breath, quite similar to common cold or flu and these symptoms may appear after 2 to 14 days of exposure. Oh, so you mean the virus stays on the objects and surfaces and waits for someone to contact it? That sounds strange to me. Well, it is not certain for how long the coronavirus stays on a surface. However, the studies have suggested that it can persist on surfaces for a few hours up to several days. Oh, then how do I protect myself? Well, there is a good news. You can always protect yourself and your loved ones by following these simple germ knockout rules. If you are infected, wear a mask to avoid the droplets falling on others while coughing or sneezing. The one meter rule. Keep a distance of at least one meter from anyone coughing or sneezing. Sing the happy birthday song. Happy birthday song? Is that a rule? Yeah, this says wash your hands regularly with soap and water, front and back, between fingers and around the nails for as long as you can sing happy birthday twice to knock out those nasty viruses. The touch me not rule which says do not touch your face, nose or mouth with unclean hands. Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. Sanitize your hands with alcohol based sanitizer when soap or water is not available. Make sure you always have one sanitizer in your bag or a small one in your pocket. Germs love to spread from one sick person to the other. So try to keep your germs to yourself. Cough or sneeze in the crook of your elbow or in a tissue to keep your hands safe. And then discard the tissue immediately and wash your hands. 
So if I take these precautions, can I go to a mall, movie or any public gathering? Well, I would say avoid going to crowded places as you do not know who might be sick. And if you feel sick, get a medical advice. Remember, the germs are out there. But by following these simple rules, you can prevent the spread of germs and knock them out. And now, do you know which is the best habit to pick during this time of coronavirus spread? I will help you out with some options and you write the answer in the comment box. Study, playing, eating lots of food or washing hands regularly. Trivia time! Why is washing hands with soap so important? Look at these pepper flakes in water. Dip your finger in this. Look at this now. The pepper flakes are all stuck on the finger. That's exactly what happens when you touch an infected object or a surface. The viruses stick to your finger and pass all over and in your body as you touch your mouth, nose or eyes with the same finger. Now dip your finger in this soap solution and then dip again in the pepper flakes saucer. Oh, see these pepper flakes move away. This is what happens when you wash your hands with soap. All the germs go away and do not forget to sing the happy birthday song twice. So let's spread the care and awareness, not panic. Eat healthy and stay safe. For similar useful updates, stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and visit our website www.makemegenius.com. See you soon.